Good afternoon, YouTube. Uh, my, I have some kits here that I'm showing you that uh, I'm going to try to sell off. I don't know the values of these. They come from my wife's late uncle. We found them in a house as we was cleaning out. Um, I tried to put them up on Facebook and got no reply from them. Uh, so I thought I would share with you guys and then maybe somebody here would be interested in them uh, Maybe somebody here would be interested in them. They're fairly older kits. I don't build no military stuff So we was trying to I let them run on Facebook for about a month and Got no reply so I thought I would try here. I know most of the people I follow and follow me do automotive but I know some of you guys build other items and like I said uh, her uncle did dioramas so most of this some of this stuff here is complete and some of it isn't so let's go through this you guys already seen what we got going and if uh, we look at this kit here you guys can see uh, they were somewhat boxes or poor uh, but in this one here, if we look, it looks like this is the only thing in here. I can see tracks. Looks like looks like this one here would be complete minus. I don't see the 50 soldiers. Is what I don't see in this one. And it looks like part of it is open, but part of it is sealed. So I wouldn't know what. I couldn't tell you what is missing. It does have the instruction sheet, or what looked like an instruction sheet here. Let's see. This right here is just an informational packlet, so it don't even have the instructions to it. But from what I can see, it shows the tracks, the tank sides, the top, and it looks like it shows. The black part is the tracks itself back in there. Alright, so let's go on to the next one. Oops. Sorry about that, fellas. Let's get back into focus here. Alright. We'll do the men. We'll do the men last. Let's look at the actual kits. Alright. So then here's this kit. Like I said, they're mostly all 172nd scales, what he was a builder, his preference was. So you look in this one here, and it looks like this package here is closed, and it looks like this one here had the truck itself in it. It looks like it has a truck, cannon, and some soldiers. So this one here looks... This kit here appears to be complete. Here's the soldiers. We got some laying down. Some look like they're giving up. <laughs> they must be French. <laughs> and then, let's see, here's the other tree. Got some horses, it looks like. I might be confused, but looking at this tree, it looks like you got horses and military guy. Then it looks like there's an army woman, uh, uh, an Indian woman, sitting here next to radio. I don't seem that fits in. I'm pretty sure we didn't take the Indians out with the military. <laughs> with the cannon and the computer. All right, looks like looks like here's some decals, <laughs> or what was. Once a set of decals, we'll leave them alone in case whoever buys them can restore them. Uh, this one here has the paint instructions, I guess, for the military guys and for the weapons. And this one right here will have the instruction sheet for the truck. So right there, this kit here looks to be complete. <clears throat> this kit here looks to be complete. 
All right. All right, now let's look at this one. This is the M36 Jackson tank. And this here looks like it's incomplete. Looks like we got the cap. Got a couple guys there though too, so that add into the diorama stuff. And then looks like all else we have is the tracks. Look at that. That's a neat looking little motorcycle, guys. What would that be? An old Harley or an old Indian, maybe? But it looks like the bike is complete. The tank is not. But it does have the tracks. Here's a sheet of fairly good looking decals. Look at that. Little skull bones. Hmm. My wife wants me to try to sell these before I, <laughs> I part them out. But there looks like some good... I can see some neat little items I can use even on my scale. Here's the instruction sheet. Like I said, I pertain mostly to 124th, 125th scale automotive stuff. So, I'm trying to find a way to get rid of some of this stuff. Alright, and then the last kit is going to be another Jackson tank and another bike it looks like. One's a Nito tank and the other one's a Fujimi. So, I guess here's the difference. The Fujimi and the Jackson. Which we already know the Fujimi one is incomplete, but the bike is complete. So that's a neat little addition. So let's check this one out. Oh, this one here is all sealed. This one here is all sealed. Everything's in that package. And it looks like, yeah, this kit here is complete. From It has all the tracks the sides of the tank maybe that's we're missing this whole second sheet right here out of the Fujima and there's your bike it's li looks a little bit bigger than the other bike almost looks to Harley Davidson let's go look back to this Jackson over here yep it's a Harley Davidson between the two kits, guys, look at this. Between the two kits, that one there being a Nito, and this one here being Fujimi, they're the exact same parts trees. They're the exact same part tree. Huh. Somebody was playing the imposter. Well, guys, there you have it. Here's the tracks. So, it's telling me... From what I can see, because I'm unfamiliar with these kits, from what I'm seeing, the Nito is complete. Looks just like the Fujimi. Looks like a Fujimi to the T, to the color and everything. So here you guys go. Uh, like I said, I don't know the value of these. Um... I live in the Midwest, so I'm going to consider, you have to consider maybe about seven bucks a piece on shipping, and if you want to buy the whole lot, I bet we could ship it all pretty, pretty cheap. So I got four vehicles, two bikes, a few figures in the one kit. So this one here, the, the Nito is, com the Nito is complete. The army truck with the Russian infantry, that's complete. This right here is just the top half of the tank. No lower bottom, and it has the bike. And this one here looks like it's missing the, looks complete, but missing the 50-man the troop. So, that's that on that one. Now, let's go over here. And right here is just figures. So let's see what we got here. We got these two guys here. Look like they're pointing and aiming. These feel more like a, a rubber, a poly, than a plastic. 
and let's see let's get all let's get all this stuff out so this kit here looks complete got some belly shooters these guys are ready to go to war guys oh they're gonna throw some some bombs some malt tall grenades or something and they got the bayonets on those guns right there. If I can't shoot you, I'm going to stab you. And here's some more. Get them guys tangled up. Some more cowardly crawlers. They're trying to uh, not be seen. Looks like you got a radio man there. Alright. You got some people digging the trench. Oh, some surrenderly guys there. They give up. They don't want to fight. They just want a good meal and a warm bed. And then here's some more guns with some bayonets on them. That's that series, guys. So, that there looks complete. And then here's the other set. The other set, it looks to be brand new, never touched. They're still in their cellophane wrapper, some of this. And Man, these guys here look a lot more... This exit characters, they look a lot more detailed than the Airfix. I like that tripod gun. Too bad that wasn't a 125th scale. I could see a pretty decent zombie apocalypse vehicle I watched some of you guys build using some of these weapons. There are some of these. So like I said, I don't know what's in this package. It's like a really poly skin. <laughs> I don't know what this package here is good for. It says it's a Hazagawa, so that, that must not belong to this. So that's, I don't have a Hazagawa in front of me. So this right here is just decorative reading, I guess. Alright, fellas, so here's what I had to show you. This is some stuff that won't fit in my genre of building. Maybe some of you guys... Can put it to use. Like I said, we're I'm clueless as to what some of this stuff goes for. So you guys, uh, if this interests any of you guys, or if you know anybody that does the military stuff, maybe share this video, and, uh, just, uh, let me know what you guys feel like the whole lot is worth, or if you're interested in a kit, give me a, a price. Um, like I said, it's a, it's an average, on average, about five to seven dollars shipping, so, uh, I really can't get around the shipping, but I'd be willing to work on a deal if, uh, if it sounds good enough, so you guys just let me know, and uh, thank you.